You're all very welcome here to O'Connor Park in Tullamore for, for the for the uh, Leinster Senior Football um, Club Championship match between Forban of Offaly and St. Patrick's Wicklow Town. Um, we'll just give you the two teams here now. We're about two and a half minutes away from throwing. Uh, Pat, St. Patrick's Wicklow Town will line out as they, as they do on the programme. Shane Doyle in goal, Paddy Kane at number two, Shane Morley at three, and Wayne Doyle is number four. Kieran Doyle is five, Connor French is six, and John Crow is seven. Dean Healy and Matthew Trainer make up the middle of the field. Paul O'Brien, uh, Podge McWalter, and Johnny Delahunt as the half forward line with the full forward line of Jordan Pettigrew, Stephen Duffy, and Tommy Kelly. The uh, Forban have three changes to the to the listed program. Uh, in the goal for them is Jack Cullinan, Stephen Wren at cornerback, Leon Fox and Shane Nally make up the full back line. David Nally at wing back. Uh, Connor Lowry number six doesn't start and number nineteen James Nally comes in there for him with number seven Kevin Nugent at wing back. Uh, eight is Kieran and Cahill and in the middle of the field number nine Kyle Higgins is a. Uh, Replaced by David Kelly wearing number 18. Cahill Flynn, Joe Marr and Adrian, Aidan Keenahan make up the half forward line with uh, the danger man Keen Johnson in wearing number 13. 14 is Oshin Kelly and number 15 Sean Flynn is replaced by number 22 Jack Clancy. A gorgeous day here in Tullamore in, in O'Connor Park. Pitch looks in great condition. Um, both teams just finishing the warm out. Stephen Duffy is in to take the toss here in the middle of the field just to see what way to play. The ref is Seamus uh, Mulher. This game, Alan, should be a cracker. Well, we're looking for a very good game here. Um, <coughs> as I say, we've gone through a few bits there, Emmett, looking at the Forban side. They're uh, a good-looking side, the way they've come through their championship so far. They haven't conceded a whole lot, and they've turned over just about, like you say, road have been bet twice by them, you know, so that's no bad feat. Um, look very young. We're going to have a minute silence here now. Yeah, we'll just we'll just pause for the minute silence here, and we'll be back to you there then. We've named out the teams, as you said, Forban. Oran Avin is just going to start now. This uh, Forban team, a young looking team, and they've beaten Road twice, which is obviously a sign of a, a team on the up after winning a couple of minors. We'll just pause now for Oran Avin. We have it, Pats just now line up to finish up their warm up, they're running to positions. Pats will play into the scoreboard end here in the first half. Uh, for Ban also just putting the finishing touches to their warm up. As we said, a youthful looking side have come through their championship pretty much the same way as Pats. You know, a tough final in the end, but both of them got here today. Um, this game, perfect conditions, Alan. Oh, absolutely glorious here, Emma. And I have to say, this is a fine, fine stadium. I have to say, my first time to be here, it is a fair set up now. Yeah, and look at it. There's a really big follow on here from Wicklow Town at all. There's lots of blue and white throughout, scattered throughout the stand on both sides here. 
Um, as I said, it's a, it's a sun kiss to Connor Park here at the minute. The referee shakes hands with the players in the middle of the field. We're just ready to rock and roll here now. Uh, John Crow gone to the middle of the field as as he did in the county final. Pa- Paddy O'Kane, Shane Morley has come out to wing back. Matthew Trainer has gone into full back. Few positional switches. As I said, for ban of three changes from the list. So we're getting ready to rock and roll here now. The referee just checks his watches and we should have action now in the next 10 seconds. The ball is in and the game is on. The first man up is Dean Healy. The ball is boxed away from by James Nally in the middle of the field. Healy picks up the ball on his own 65 gives it to Paul O'Brien O'Brien wearing number 10 right out on the middle of the field on the far side of the field here we're on the stand side pops a little ball inside to Padge McWalter McWalter has his jersey pulled but he's blown for over carrying a harsh decision there early very very harsh I wouldn't say he even took the four steps there to look at him to be honest it looked like his jersey was being pulled the free is taken it's popped back as far as James Nally Nally gives it into David Nally where number five comes up he meets a wall of players he gives it inside to David Kelly Kelly a low searching ball inside they'll surely look for that man Keane Johnson but it's the number 50 it's the number 22 it's Jack Clancy Clancy picks the ball up he is he has Wayne Doyle on his case turns the ball out as far as the centre for Joe Maher he pops it back out to David Kelly Kelly finds a little ball inside but it's broken down by Dean Healy Healy picks up the ball and wins a free on his own 45 Pats soak up the first early pressure the ball goes to Connor French French on his own 65 up as far as Johnny Delahunt Delahunt has a look Pops the ball in as far as uh, Duffy, Stephen Duffy, on the 65 yards out from the uh, scoreboard end, gives it to Podge McWalter. McWalter adds a little bit of pace. Uh, again, there's two men across. It's a good set up here from this for band team. The number 14, O'Shane Kelly, has dropped really deep. The ball goes into Johnny Delio. He finds uh, Paul O'Brien. O'Brien now recycles the ball again as far as Dean Healy. Healy tries to add a bit of pace charges down the middle looks to get to the top of the D Healy off his right foot a kick high and it's gone high and over the bar the first score of the game a great score there great leadership by Dean Healy absolutely took the game to him there Emma and like if Podge had pulled up for steps there moments ago I think Dean should have been as well but look we got the benefit of it out he rolled two challenges and showed why he, he's a powerhouse he is down the middle just looking up here uh, Paddy O'Kane has took up the job of taking Keen, Keen Johnson so it's going to be good to see how that matches up it'll be a good battle to kick out now from Jack Cullen and long down to the middle of the field on Underneath it is Wayne Dyle. Dyle buzz caught over his head by Ushin Kelly. Kelly gets it at the second attempt. Breaks away from the tackle. Pops the ball in. High loop and ball is dangerous. Connor French gets his hand to Pops it out to Shane Morley. Morley finds Paul O'Brien. O'Brien has been very industrious early on here. Comes back across the middle of the field. All across the 65 and finds Kieran Dyle in space. Dyle solos forward. Gets as far as the 45. Johnny Delahunt watches looks for support but he finds a little one two with Tommy Kelly from Kieran Dyle gives it back to Kelly again Kelly will try and get on his right foot a little bit further out than where he'd normally be he's nearly on the 45 Kieran Dyle is right underneath the stand between the 45 and the 21 here in Tullamore he recycles the ball again back out as far as Stephen Duffy Duffy takes the ball gives it in as far as Wayne Dyle he comes back with it he finds a little pocket of space and charges down the middle into the 45 he looks for support he gets that support from McWater he recycles it back to Johnny Delahunt back out to Stephen Duffy Duffy tries to get on his left foot goes takes three men out again with brilliant sidestep and a right footed kick from Podge McWalter goes high and goes over the bar for the second score of the game Podge McWalter with a great score there well worked by Pats very patient that, that, it was patient but looking at that we had an advantage there in the corner the referee let the five or six seconds go and never gave us the advantage and we hadn't got we hadn't progressed so like where is your advantage but looking at Tommy Kelly he was 35 yards out there trying to win a ball that's no good to Pats having him that far away from goal the kick out goes to David Nally out on the far side of the field right underneath where the teams come out addressing him a low searching ball inside as far as Sean Flynn Flynn has Matthew Trainer on his case he falls as he picks the ball up Trainer stands strong he's on the ground with the ball it's a line ball who does it go to? It's, it's, it's gone off it's gone to Forban it's all said the linesman says it came off the arm of Matthew Trainer. There's, there's no argument from the Pats men uh, the line ball will be taken by David Nelly here. He goes across field as far as us, as far as Joe Mar Mar takes a kick off his left foot. It's a great kick off his left foot from all of forty yards out. Splits the post. Brilliant score there by the Ferban centre forward just to keep Pats under toes. Well, just looking at it as well, yeah, very very good score. They're going to show like the French is going to have to get tighter to him. Uh, lethal left foot uh, equally so um, as Duffy at the other side. You know when he gets based like that, so he's definitely going to have to tighten up. Yeah, we're three, we're four minutes in here now. It's two points to St. Pat's. It's one to Ferban. Shane Dyle will take his kick out from the middle of the goal in the 14-yard line. Uh, cap on him. There's a good 
sun coming down that end of the field into his eyes there he's looking for someone to make a move but he goes long down the middle a great kick right to the middle of the field Dean Healy gets a hand to it but it's only as far as Kieran Cal Cal and Healy battle for that ball pops it out as far as David Kelly Kelly or James Nally it is Nally goes forward the ball pops it inside to his wing for Carl Flynn he finds a little pocket of space tries to play it on the ground but it's broken down by the Patsmen play away to the referee Connor French hits the ground but it's in as far as Flynn Flynn goes a goal a goal for Carl Flynn and for Ban it looked like Connor French was fouled a heavy shot on him the ball broke inside I think Pat's kind of stopped to be honest Todd we're expecting the free and uh, soccer style to the back of the net but a good finish it was a very very good finish and just uh, equally saying again how lethal they have been down through the middle there but like uh, Healy needs to help in the middle of the field he broke the ball and he's trying to win the break himself needs someone underneath him if they're going to try to do that Shane Dyle will take this kick out again a sucker punch there for the Patsmen 1-1 one, one here to 2 points 5 minutes gone a long ball down the middle is taken by John Crow Crow does really well continues with the play he needs supporters 2 for Bandmen all over him their tackling is very good at the minute McWalter has a poor pass to McWalter he gets it at the second attempt in as far as Kieran Dyle Dyle finds Johnny at Delahunt Delahunt back out as far as Podge McWalter little pocket of space opens up for Johnny Crow finds him with a great pass he storms into the 45 pops the ball out to Stephen Duffy in space you'd expect this to go over off the left for Huduffy it does go over off the left for Huduffy a wonderful score by Pats a good answer to the goal very very good answer and like great mark be, be crow there and went to the field because he was surrounded like a harness nest there they were around him and he like he done very well to get out with that and recycle the ball because and his, his pass was a little bit dodgy to Podge but Podge done well to get it back in and get the counter attack going again yeah they found pockets of space said there's numbers there for Ferban but there is pockets of space open up a long kick goes over everyone's head and the run is just continued by Kieran Cal or it's not Kieran Cal it's David Kelly Kelly storm down the middle there John Crawford company surely maybe steps no ball is popped back out the referee's not giving freeze range Joe Marr picks the ball up he's between the 14 and the 21 gives it as far as Jack Clancy Clancy gives it back to Marr Marr with that left foot but this one is drifting just to the left of the post and wide and again Pats looked a little bit open down the middle well they are look at it and Look at what uh, Shane Dyer's kick has been done to everyone in Wicklow in the championship. Did you bypass the middle of the field and making the far 65? That's what happened there. And Pats weren't able for it because yeah. the half back line weren't ready for it. They got caught out by it, they did, and it's Shane Dyle to take this kick. Massive it's, kick out. It's 1 1 here to Ferban. It's three points to St. Pats with just seven minutes on the clock. Kick out from Shane Dyle. Comes right underneath to stand out to the 65 here at this end of it. Brilliantly taken by Johnny Delahunt. Delahunt continues his run, but he gets his free. He was pulled back. Pops a little ball quickly, though, inside to John Crow. Crow, strong running. Brilliant play by Crow. It's opening up down the middle. He pops a little ball out to Jordan Pegro. He finds Stephen Duffy. Duffy gives it to Delahun. Delahun shot is blocked. Half blocked down. It only gets as far as the wing forward. Goes back there's Cahill Flynn, the goal scorer. He pops the ball out. Gets it as far as his full back, Leon Fox. Fox solos with the ball. Has a look. Duffy goes to him. Challenges him. But he continues right up underneath. He's covered 50, 60 yards, the full back. He's still going with the ball. Someone has to go to him. It's Kieran Dyle that goes to him, but he's over carried it. Oh, harsh enough on him, I think. I don't think so. No, no. I, I think he, he did. He, he did. He took too much over there. Maybe so. He didn't have a lot of support. He was making ground, but Pats probably stood off him and let him make his own mistake. Connor French has the ball, gives it to Podge McWalter. He pops a little ball outside as far as Shane Morley. Morley crosses the 65 on the far side of the field. Gives a little ball inside to Dean Healy. Healy breaks one tackle. He breaks the second tackle. He storms down the middle. He's heading for the top of the D. He gets it on that right foot. Looked like there was a hand got on that one. Maybe it's drifting out to the right. We a 45, yeah, we have yeah. a 45. Yeah, straight away when Healy kicked, he had his hands up because it looked like it was wayward, but it wasn't a fair play. Like, But just looking like that, he, he's riding one or two challenges there. There's no one off his shoulder. He needs someone popping off his shoulder there, like Paul O'Brien or something like that. And you know who could be just missing doing that here today? Kieran McGehigan. McGehigan, yeah, as I said, Kieran is not here today. He's he's away for the day, but um, again, yeah, they could. They, he needs a little bit of support, but it looked like he had he had broke the tackles yeah, there. I'm going to be a little bit critical on, on uh, 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 number twelve there, which is De- Delahunt. Like he had a shot into nothing there. Like they're going to have to recycle because Duffy has come out, but the man is not following him, so it's leaving the sweeper all in there. Tommy Kelly kicks the 40. Oh, it strikes the post and comes back out. Who's quickest to react to Stephen Duffy? Duffy does really well. Beautiful pick up from the big Wicklow Town, number 14. Has a little look around. Pops the ball back outside. Tommy Kelly wins that ball again. He's just still out. He's 45 yards out. Three men all around him. But it's given as a free in. And 
it was borderline over carrying or a foul whichever way but they've got to rub it the green it was a three on one there tackle there as well and suppose the, the ref the ref is letting things go here he, he's not he's not favouring anyone which is very very good and he, he's letting it like if you're getting a free my god he earned it yeah yeah he's like that first free probably against Padge was the softest one and ever since that it's just it's it's open territory but Tommy Kelly kicks this one doesn't strike it well hand on it inside there from Johnny Delahunt but it just goes out to the left and wide we have nine and a half minutes gone here in Tullamore it's 1-1 to Forban 3 points to St. Pat's um, it's going to test the metal here at Pat's here today because look at him uh, Forban are doing the very same as what Pat's have done through the whole week of championship their counter attacking is absolutely they're on, on the money here they're boom up the field so it's going to be good to see how Pat's deal with that kick out goes as far as David Nally Nally's on his own 45 kicks a long ball down to Joe Mar. Mar out in front of Connor French does well he gets it at the second attempt he's back in the middle of the field the tackle goes in from Jordan Pegro but Mar still has it goes across field with the ball he hasn't made a lot of ground he tries to recycle he turns back again Connor French stands up in front of him but the ball has popped back to the wing back Kevin Nugent Nugent looks across he'll find David Nally Nally has been on a lot of ball at this stage he steps inside one tackle he has his full back storming forward beside him he doesn't opt to go him it's back to Nugent and are on the 65 here it's all very lateral at the minute they're trying to pick holes David Kelly pops a ball inside as far as Jack Clancy wearing 22 Clancy gives the ball back to Nugent back to Clancy good play here he'll strike it with the outside of his right boot he'll kick a great score a wonderful score there from Furban well worked found the space but a brilliant finish as well yeah, um, I, Pats just need to settle here, Emmett, because they're, they're getting dr- drawn into a two, two on one situation on tackling. Like Shane Morley got sucked away from his man there and left the pocket open to get through. Just to stand up man on man and see, because they are shepherding them out and keeping them out. As you say, they're going to have them to go lateral and they're, they're fine in their little pocket. Shane Dyle will kick this ball out. We have 10 and a half, 11 minutes gone here. A long kick down the middle. John Crow's underneath. It goes over his head on. It's taken by uh, Aidan Keenan. Keenan does well. Keeps going with the ball. Left foot, the big hoof in. Goes high. It's gone down top of match. A trainer. Trainer gets a hand to it. But it's O'Shea and Kelly. Kicks the ball. It's not O'Shea and Kelly. It's Jack Clancy who swivels on his right leg. Kicks with his left foot. It goes to the right and goes wide. And just Pats look a little bit at sixes and sevens at the minute. Just, just just settle down, like get your win, you know, settle down. You're you're, you're two points behind here, but it's all right. Like there, there's nothing there's nothing lost here yet. And just take a breather. And just say Paddy O'Kane hasn't been on the ball, but equally either is Keane Johnson, which is a very good marker at the minute. Hasn't been mentioned Shane Doyle, a long ball down the middle of the field. Oh, well taken in the middle of the field there by Kieran Cal. Brilliantly one handed, pops the ball out as far as uh, Joe Mara, I think it is. He gives the ball out to David Nally. Nally on the ball again, outside of the right boot, puts a long ball in on top of Paddy Kane. Keane Johnson, Johnson catches over Kane's head, shot goal for Keane Johnson. A brilliant finish, a long ball in, took it away and buried the ball in the back of the net. And 2-2 two, two to Furban here. Three points to St. Pat's. 12 minutes gone. Another sucker punch. I gave him the commentator's curse, Emma. Yeah. No, I'm after absolutely blowing the young lad's confidence out of the water. I hope he hasn't heard me. Shane Dyle to take the kick out. Pats haven't found themselves in this position too many times over the year. It's a kick out from Shane Dyle. Dyle goes down the middle. He tries to fight Crow Crow, but it's boxed over his hand to Joe Mar. Mar off his left foot. And it's all Furban here at the minute. 2 3 to Furban now. Brilliant kick by Joe Mar, but very simple. But Russian, they're kick outs. Like the one the first few kick outs. But you watch Crow and watch Healy. They're standing flat for who trying to catch it. Try break a ball. They're not going to feel them by the looks of things because they've they're after losing their last four kick outs in the trial here. Pats, so, Pats. Very on you, like Pats, though. They even look a bit flat under the brakes yeah. as well. They're usually very good at gobbling up brakes. Shane Dyle to take the kick out. 2 3 to Furban, 3 points to Pats. 13 minutes gone here. The ball breaks in the middle of the field again. It's it's James Nally picks up the break, but it's turned over by Dean Healy. Healy storms 45 yards out from the Furban goal. He looks around. There's nothing on the green jerseys around him. He had no support. Now he has. Paj McWalter comes to him 45 yards out again. Pops a little ball into Paul O'Brien. O'Brien comes out, recycles the ball, has a look. He gives it inside as far as Kieran Doyle. Doyle heavily tackles again. They've set up really well for Ban across here. They're going to make Pats earn every score they get here today, and it's in the hands of Stephen Duffy. Duffy with that left foot tries to pick a pass, but the full forward, Hushie and Kelly, comes back, gets a foot to it, breaks it only as far as Kieran Doyle. Doyle now at the top of the D, gives it to Stephen Duffy. Duffy is swarmed by players, out to Tommy Kelly, finds a pocket of space. Tommy Kelly kicks right foot, but it goes out to the... L- yeah. Oh, it's gone over the bar. They had a little look. It's gone high in. It's gone over the bar and a much needed score. Much needed score, but look at how far out again. He's nearly 40, 40 odd yards out trying to kick it. But you're on about how they set up. They're like an arc, their defence here. Like 
an arc and they're leaving the whole centre in around the goals open and Pats aren't trying to get into it. No, no, look, they've set up really well. They seem to have their homework done on this Pats team at the minute. 14 minutes gone here in Tullamore. For man 2 3, St. Pats 4 points, a 5 point lead, and they're worth every score of it. Two goals, I suppose. One was a little bit. Uh, opportunistic the other a great finish from Keane Johnson and the kick out from Jack Cullen and goes long down the middle again there's no fears of going long but Matthew Trainer gets his hand up breaks it to John Crow ball spills as far as back Podge McWalter McWalter goes down picks up the ball again two men around him lays a little ball back to Kieran French French has been quieter today than normal but Dean Healy again takes up the mantle and charges down the middle he's at the top of the D he's still going he was pulled back and he has says to the ref he's had enough he's been pulled back again and as David Nally is going to be spoken to uh, Pats need lots of that from they Dean they need lots of it but Dean needs help he's not going to keep that up mm. for the full hour here but going back to Conor French here Conor French can't get up the field like he usually does because he cannot leave that open no no he uh, uh, Joe Maher is very good he's shown how dangerous he is already to this point Stephen Duffy is just at the top of the D on the scoreboard end of the field here left foot kicks it high does it go over the bar it does oh. it goes high and over the bar and another score for Pats five points for Pats here now 2-3 for Furban 15 minutes gone a helter skelter opening but it's a good game of football it is but I'm just looking around here too and like doing their warm ups I didn't think Furban were much bigger than than Pats but looking at him out there they're no small side no no they didn't look that big in the warm up but the kick out is taken quickly and it's gone as far as Aidan Keane and Keane and is tackled by Johnny Delahunt it's fouled by Johnny Delahunt taken quickly to Shane Nally Nally pops the ball inside as far as Kevin Nugent Nugent looks up finds that man Joe Maher Maher is playing really well he's dropped deep he's sucked uh, Connor French out of his position in as far as David Nally Nally pops the ball out as far as Kieran Cal Cal goes inside and finds the number 18 David Kelly Kelly looks recycles the ball back as far as uh, David Nally Nally has a look again they just slowed things up a little bit gets the ball as far as Keane Johnson Johnson with the left foot tries to pop a ball inside gets it inside as far as Jack Clancy he does really well but he's gobbled up by two or three Patsmen Pats break the ball down and they try to counter attack really quickly Morley breaks the tackle but again he's swarmed by green jerseys good play by Furban slowing up the point of the attack that's what Pats are notorious for but it's in the hands of Paul O'Brien who charges down the 65 on the far side of it. he gets a ball in inside to Shane Murley but brilliantly intercepted there by uh, Cahill Flynn Flynn does really well and charges forward up the field uh, the ball now in the hands of that man Joe Maher Maher solos with the ball 45 yards out just on the far side of the field gives the ball to Aidan Keenan Keenan back as far as Joe Maher Maher will go at the outside of that left boot is it a speculative one it is it's just drifted to the right of the post and wide and 16 and a half minutes gone here it's a four point game at a minute two three to Furban five points to Pats I don't want to keep hitting on that but we're going to see that the test of the, of the metal love Pats here today Morley uh, prominent for getting up the field once or twice every game he's after getting up there the first time he's got over the halfway line the misplaced pass to him turned over he wasn't able to get back counter attack as I say they're very very good at their counter they're very slick they're young they're fast they're a very slick team Shane Dyle will take the kick out here Dyle looks for his options goes long down the middle again underneath that is John Crow and his man but it's fisted away from this time to win the break it's in the hands of Matthew Trainer. Trainer recycles the ball goes back has a look he is Shane Morley outside him he comes back up the field though, puts the ball and he's told us really well little kick out the outside the boot asking the question of uh, Pettigrew and Morley but doesn't find either and it's in the hands of Stephen Wren the captain of this for Bandy. he pops the ball he has the ball in his possession he has a look he was going to take a pass but he comes across the field and a good ball it is all the way across here to number four is Shane Nally Nally in a little bit of space he's tracked by Stephen Duffy Johnny Delahunt is there as well he gives the ball back into his full back Leon Fox Fox tries to step around Delahunt he does pops up a little ball back into David Nally they've slowed things down here now for band they're just having a look they're trying to pick pockets of space Kevin Nugent pops a little ball inside to David Kelly Kelly on the march gives it out to Joe Maher Maher finds man outside him in space as well <coughs> that man is uh, Kieran Cal Cal gives it back it's back in the hands of Maher now he's on the 21 over the stand side or on the far side of it drops a dangerous ball in it's boxed away well boxed away by that man Connor French comes into the hands of uh, Paddy Kane who pops the ball out as far as Stephen Duffy Duffy tries to hold off the challenge of two for Bandman gives it back to Kane he finds Connor French French finds Johnny Delahunt Delahunt storms up the field with the ball he's a runner outside him he's John Crow inside him he gets the ball to John Crow gives it to Podge McWalter this is more like it from Pats finds a little ball outside to Paul O'Brien 65 yards out he goes long in searching for that man Tommy Kelly the ball breaks down but it doesn't come as far as Jordan Pettigrew Good play by the cornerback, Stephen Wren got his hand to it. 
It's recycled out and it's out in the hands of Shane Nally, 45 yards out from his own goal here now. Nally will recycle this ball. He has options inside. One of them is David Nally. It's not David Nally, it's Cahill Flynn, the goal scorer. Flynn pops a ball inside to his midfielder, Kieran Cal. He finds a little ball, but a hand in from Matthew Trainer. Trainer does really well. Ball it ends up in the hands of Podge McWater, who gives it to Stephen Duffy. Duffy has a look. Has, he's looking for support. That man is Podge McWalter who is supporting him. They're still 45 yards out from the scoreboard goal here in Tullamore. Dean Healy again tries to barrack his way down the middle, but this time he's turned back by two or three for Bannerman. Ball is still in the hands. It's a long, ga- a long period of possession here for Banner working really hard trying to do There's an advantage being given. Duffy kicks a little ball into Jordan Pegro, goes over his head. John Crowe's continue to run. Crowe does really well, has a look, he but he's, back, he's brought it all the way back to... Between the 45 and the 65. Uh, well, it, it, it is the right call. I know the bounce and the break had went to Crow, but he blew the whistle as soon as Pedro didn't get to it. So I will say correct call by the referee. But just looking in there, a ball in again. They were working so hard to get their score. They were working hard, a lot harder to get scores than for Banner. But like it was four on two in there, the ball that went into Tommy Kelly. It wasn't even a 50 50 ball for Tommy, you know. I, th- I know Tommy's a big man, he's able to win it anyway, but the ball needs to be in front of Tommy. You know, to yeah, it board. needs to be a little bit more quality about yeah. Stephen Duffy has this ball outside of the left boot, goes long in as far as Jordan Pettigrew does it, but it's gone high and over his head and wide, and a uh, chance gone there for Pats. I just like the breaks and all that are going in around there. Like I know Duffy's kicking that hand. Like this is a big field here. Like he's a big, big park. You can see that there's lads burning oil out there already. Like like watching Murley, he switched over. He was coming up under us here again. Now he's gone back to the far side. He's working hard to get up the field. They're just not seeing the the, the, the positions he's getting into either. Yeah, and that's but like they're under a little bit more pressure maybe than they have been on yeah. the ball as well. They're not getting the ball as fluently to other loose players. No. It's, it's breaking down a little bit more than they're used to. Jack Cullinan takes this kick out. We have twenty, nearly 21 minutes gone. Ball breaks in the middle of the field off the fist of Matthew Trainer. It's down as far as David Kelly. Kelly turns his man. He is Johnny Delahood. He's Johnny Delahunt for company. It's into Aidan Keenan. And Keenan pops the ball into Kevin Nugent. Good tackle there by John Crow. Really well done. Heavy tackle from Johnny Delahunt. There's an advantage here to, to Kevin Nugent. He pops the ball inside to uh, his fullback is Leon Fox. Fox charges forward. Gives a good ball outside to Kieran Cal. Cal is fouled in a free in about 43 or 4 yards out. Pats have questioned it. And now it's brought up to just... Just inside the D and a very kickable score here for Forban. And after, you know, a few minutes of pressure there now, it looks like they're going to get a score on the board here. Yeah, and it was a free. Like, Paul O'Brien came in, he had his hand on his back and he went in over his right mm. shoulder. It was a free and it was him that contested it straight away. Like, like the referee's having a good game here. So like, if you're earning your free, he's, he's, on, he's well up to the game here. He, like, he's able to keep up with it. He knows his angles where to be. Joe Marrell kicked this ball off his left foot just inside the D, straight in front of the goal, steps up, kicks it high and kicks it over the bar. It's 2-4 to Forban here, 5 points to St. Pat's, a 5 point game up here in Tullamore. It's 22 minutes gone just on the clock. Um, Pat's, 2 sucker punches, 2 goals early in that first half and Pat's have yet to recover but they're have lots of time on their side. Shane Doyle kicks a long ball down the field again, down on top of Matthew Trainer. Trainer wins this one, takes it really well, takes his mark, he's on one knee, gets up, he has only his five seconds. He gives the ball up as far as Paul O'Brien just about gets to him, and he's fouled. Is he? He oh, is. He, is. He, he, bought, he bought that free. He bought, he bought that free. They haven't been give, given out that easy. That's why I was surprised that he got we one. And God, he is. He's he, he, he getting booked here now for that. Oh. I think that's a little bit harsh now because Paul came in, he'd won the ball, he was sliding down on one knee, and you managed to come in himself with an open handed uh, challenge to slap the ball, and Paul kind of brought his head into his arm. But look at. <laughs> look, it's. Uh, it yes, yeah, it's number 19. James Nally has gone into the book there, yellow card to his name. So, it's uh, he'll have. Maybe 50, 40 minutes to carry that one, but it's Matthew Trainer now in possession. Uh, Stephen Duffy went back to the middle of the field, found Trainer. Trainer has a look up, looking for options. There's small bit of movement in front of him, but there's nothing sticking out, so he goes short to uh, Connor French, takes the ball back, but doesn't. It's a poor pass from French, who finds Trainer under pressure, but he gets it back to French now. They're 65 yards out from the goal here. Pa- Pats need a runner, or they need a little bit of pace injected. There it is, a little ball in as far as Paul O'Brien. Ever willing, gives a good ball out to Shane Morley. Morley between the 45 and the 21 sidesteps his man French has made a foray up the field he's looking for support gets it back 
So we'll talk about kicking off his right foot, pops it back. Tommy Kelly is out 45 yards, gives it to Stephen Duffy. Duffy's blocked down with the ball, hops into the weight and arms of Dean Healy, who spots a run inside from Podge McWalter. McWalter takes the ball inside two men, has a look. Did he throw it up and catch it? It looked from here like he did. The Verban players are questioning. It's back in the hands of Tommy Kelly. Kelly tries to slice the post with the outside of his right boot, but it goes to the right of the post and wide, and another chance gone for Pats. Another good, another chance, but they worked it well. I know it's wide, but look at their they're showing a bit of promise there a bit of dominance around the middle of the field again there just going to go back to match your trainers are having a serious game he's on being 95% of the possessions here in my book like I just go to show they've had him in the full back line for some of the games in we, back at home in week but I think he's better free, free around the middle of the field yeah he's been he was dragged out there by the full forward and he's followed him out and he's playing really well since he went out the kick out comes to the hands of James Nally wearing 19 pops the ball back into Shane Nally he has a look up again there's options all over Pats just drop off a little bit and let Forban have Possession in that end of the field. It comes all the way across to Shane Nally again. Nally looks up, goes long this time, pumps the ball inside as far as that man, Keane Johnson. Johnson is marshalled by Paddy Kane. Kane does really well. Looked like he was fouled, but Kieran Doyle gets back, does really well, wins the ball, twists, turns again. There's heavy pressure from the Forbanman. Ball is on the ground, no one to help him. Pats were slow to get to his aid. It's in the hands of Jack Clancy. Clancy tries a hand pass with Johnny Dillahunt, gets a hand in. Paddy Kane charges out with the ball, does really well. Surely he's fouled, he is fouled. Good play by Paddy Kane there. He got the better of uh, Keen Johnson in that one. But the ball is taken quickly. It's out as far as Stephen Duffy. Duffy solos up the field. Right underneath us here now. He's banging in the middle of the field here in Tullamore. Gives a little ball out to Paul O'Brien. O'Brien has worked tirelessly in this first half to be fair to him. Into Duffy. Duffy finds John Crow. Little bit more movement from the Patsmen now but to recycle it back out. 45 yards out. It's Paul O'Brien. O'Brien finds Connor French. French is 65 yards out. They've came back. It's a kick. A high kick. Lucky to get away with that one. Matthew Trainer does really well to bat the ball down to Dean Healy. They're still 60 yards out. He finds a pocket of space to John Crow and little one too. Healy charges forward. Surely he's fouled. He is fouled. And it's well worked by Pats there. That, that, that brilliant again. Absolutely brilliant. Like Second ball has went into Keane Johnson here. The first one he got, he put in the back of the net. This time, uh, Paddy O'Kane got in, won it. Should have had a free maybe coming out, but look, at the guy had to turn the hover up the field. And this is a counter-attack. I think this is their first probably counter-attack to get a score from. You know, and it's, this is what they need. Yeah, look, they need a, again, Matthew Trainer, Paul O'Brien working tirelessly there, yeah. to be fair to the Switching two of them. Again, like, yeah, you know, you know, doing a lot of work in there. So Pats have this free. It's about 40 yards out just to the to the right-hand side of the D as we look. He kicks it high. He has it pulled it. It's pulled to the right and wide, though. It's the one they could have done with. It's a wide for Stephen Duffy off the left boot. There's 26 and a half minutes gone here. It's for a band 2-4. St. Pat's five points. A five-point game in Tullamore. We wait for the kick out from Jack Cullinan. <coughs> 11 minutes since Pat's got their last score as well, you know, so they, do, they need to get one as well, I mean, even before they go in a half time here, just to settle them. If they could get that one before how to go in a yeah. four point game at half time, Cullinan takes a kick out. Long ball down the middle of the field, hand in from John Crow, just does really well. Paul O'Brien goes down, Paul O'Brien is fouled again, wins that dirty ball. He's two men inside, he's not let take it. The referee moves it up, he done really well. But there was two men free inside John Crow. One of them that was dangerous. I think Kevin Nugent took one for the team there, getting that ball moved up. Because look where John Crow was gone. He had filled into the pocket there, just in front of in front of the, the arc there. Um, and Duffy has come out now. This is a little bit strange. On a on the left left side for a, a right foot kicker, and Duffy's opted to take this now. Forty five yards out. Stephen Duffy steps up to this one, just to the left hand side of the post again. This one is turned to the right. It's dangerous. Free out. Free out. There was a push or a hold. Yeah. There's. Something went on in there. The referee's seen it. The free is taken quickly. And it's now in the hands of uh, Aidan Keenan. Keenan charges up the field. Plays a little one to a Kieran Cal And goes on up the field. He's right underneath where the teams come out. The dressing room in the middle of the field. Lovely little ball in over the head there. Into as far as Joe Marr. Or it's not Marr. It's O'Shane Kelly. Kelly does really well to pick it up. Maybe looked like it was foul. A little hand pass inside. But the first man to react is Paddy O'Kane. Who's stormed into this game now in the last few minutes. He gets the ball out as far as Connor French. <laughs> French has a look inside to Johnny Delahunt. Lovely little ball. Delahunt looks up, looks for support, gets it, finds Stephen Duffy just about with that hand pass. Pops it out to Podge McWalter. McWalter again takes on his man, twists, turns, gets it to the 45, gives it to John Crow, back out to Dean Healy. Healy now 45 yards out, bang in the middle of the goal, takes off on one of those dangerous penetrating runs. Healy does really well, he's fouled again, surely this time. And it's Tommy Kelly kicks this one high and kicks it over the bar, but he's called him back. 
I Again, have, Dean Healy. I don't have to say, you're going, like, maybe one or two games in back at home during the week like championship, he's, he's disappeared at, at different times. My God, he has turned up here today. You'll have to tip your hat to him. He's really taken the surge to them. Yeah, they just can't handle his strong running at all. You know, sometimes in Wicklow you say about, you know, like teams not being able to handle his strong run. There's no one really able no, for when no. he puts down the boot if and you goes. watch him, when he, he's able to fade you when he drops his shoulder mm. and he go on to the other side, like, and you're like, but his power as well, he goes right at you. He doesn't want to go around you. 29 minutes gone, Stephen Duffy is just to the right hand side of the D, he kicks this one off his left foot, he kicks it high and he kicks it over the bar, a tonic of a score for Pats now yeah, after we, coming back into the game. As we had just said, but I have to say in the last 10 minutes it is all Pats. 2-4 to Furban, uh, 6 points to Pats, a minute to go to half time here with Huswa Hevers added on, it went short there, a little bit dangerous but they've swept it up with David Nally, done really well, he gives it out as far as Shane Nally, he gives, pops it back into David Nally again, again Pats retreat to that line just across the midfield, it's in the hands of uh, Cahill Flynn, Flynn takes on 2-3 Patsman, he's now on the 65 but he goes backwards again to that man David Nally, he finds a little ball inside to Keane Johnson, Johnson doesn't get it at the first attempt, Paddy Kane is with him, Kane slips, Johnson is there, the two Pat's men around him again Paddy Kane goes back to pick it up but nipped in there is Cahill Flynn Flynn is dangerous this is dangerous oh he hits the post on a tight angle and maybe should have boxed that one Alan he could have had but God is he nippy do you see him it's glorious to watch a lad at full fly on the run pick a ball up with just a little dink of his solo up into his hands like because he doesn't have to stop his stride at all he just like there's none thinking. of them Pats lads that were after him or slouches either. No, no that's <laughs> it. Like, they're all looking at the he, he was, Yeah, he was moving. I just missed there how, how much added time Eight we're going to, to have. We have a four-point game here just on the stroke of halftime. Shane Doyle launches one out. It's gone high and taken by Johnny Delahunt. Delahunt continues on with his run, pushes his man away. That man is David Kelly. Kelly won't go away. Delahunt comes back, breaks another tackle, pops the ball out. Was he fouled? He looked for the foul, but Podge McWalter breaks the tackle now and has an advantage. He gives it into Connor French. French finds Dean Healy. Healy has a look, pops the ball into John Crow, but it's intercepted. He might get it back. Healy tries to pick it up, goes for the ball, but... The referee is calling for the ball. He had his hand up. Gonna throw it up. I think. Is he? He's not he's sure. Not sure. Yeah, he's, he's, what we're doing at the minute. he's taking he's out a book. book out, out now. Well, I didn't see anything there that deserved a book, did I you? I don't know either because I tell you, if anything, I think it should be a free out for for ban because uh, Dean Healy kicked a lad when he, uh, he had, the, hand, he had like, his hands was, down on the ball to pick it up and, and Dean put it. I was like the two of them went to pick it yeah. up at the, and, and Healy got the. Oh, is there going to be a card here this has to be a throw up no he brought him back for a foul that he'd get an advantage for Podge here you man to win a late tackle with Podge Fair, that's, yeah, I mean, that's good referee now that's good referee now and it's uh, that man yeah, Jack Clancy has picked up a yellow card, card and he's threw in the ball here now Pat's trying to win it but uh, force the number sees David and Ali with the ball and the referee Right, after a minute and a half, 31 and a half minutes, blows up the half-time whistle here. We've Furban 2-4, Pat's six points. Uh, it'll be a big test of Pat's character in this second half. Um, we'd like to just thank our sponsors there as well, Murphy's Liquidation Furniture. Uh, only for him, we wouldn't be at these matches and bringing these games live to you. Yes, and thank you very much. But look, at um, all is not lost here now at the minute. Um, Pats got off to the better start. The two goals really, really killed them. But they have short things back up there. I think there were four balls that went in. Keane Johnson has got one goal over. And the other three being turned over, Paddy O'Kane. That'll definitely settle Paddy, you know. Um, I just think they need to get more out, more work out of the full forward line for Pats. I'd like to see Duffy now in the second half. Maybe stay a little bit closer to goal. Even around the, in, in the arc of the D there. Not, not be out past the 45. Just feel a little bit in there because they're not following him out the field. They're happy enough to see him out around there. Maybe in their eyes, he's not doing as much danger out there so just pop in and see because if he can get into one of them channels 35 yards out he, he'll pop it over yeah look that's it we'll, we're waiting there should be a storm in second half here in Tullamore now so we're going to take a few minutes of a break here now as I said it's 2 4 for Ban here 6 points to St Pat's and we'll be back with the second half in a few minutes to you
changes in uh, you're very welcome back to O'Connor Park in Tullamore here for the second half of the first round of the Leinster Club Football Championship here between uh, Furban of Offaly and St. Patrick's Wicklow Town from Wicklow. Uh, two four to six points to Furban at half time. Two big scores coming in that first half. Keen Johnson would possibly the only touch he's got ahead. And uh, oh, because in fairness to to Paddy O'Kane, he's doing a great marking job on him, and uh, a, a goal from Cahill Flynn, look at, we're probably saying could have been a free out, but it's a registered on the scoreboard now, so that says you can't cry over spilt milk, Alan. Spilt milk, yeah, no point crying over him, but um, no, but you're bang on there about Paddy O'Kane, like, um, his head might have dropped after the first call going in, but he didn't, he, he raised to it, he's one of the stars of the of the whole campaign for, for Pat Freely, and he's a star for the future. Um, and we're back on there now. Ball is in and the game is on here in Tullamore. The ball breaks in the middle of the field. It's down with uh, David Kelly. Kelly gets the ball, but he's turned over by Matthew Trainer. Trainer's having a storming game up until this point. Gets the ball out to Kieran uh, Dial. Dial pops a ball in as far as uh, Podge McWalder. Uh, John Delahunt takes it off, gives it to Connor French. He finds Matthew Trainer between the 45 and the 65 in a little pocket of space. There is one change on the Pats team. I'll get it to you there now in a minute. Uh, Trainer pops the ball out to Paul O'Brien. O'Brien gives it to Stephen Duffy. Duffy pops it back to Connor French. They're back under 65 now. They're shooting into the town end here. It's in the hands of Stephen Duffy. Duffy floats a little ball inside to the into the sub who is Connor O'Brien. O'Brien does really well. Gets the ball back as far as Paul McWalter McWalter again is blown for over carrying with two men on his back almost but three of them coming in there at the end <coughs> excuse me and I'm choking here but that's a strange one whatever Podge McWalter has done to Seamus Mulher but <laughs> for number 14 Oshin Kelly has the ball now he storms down to 45 Connor French is struggling to keep pace with him Oshin Kelly is going out comes Murley Murley turns him back pops the ball back out as far as Joe Maher good little kick off his left foot there it's high and it's up between the posts again a brilliant counter attack there and it comes to a score for that man Joe Maher but they just cannot handle the speed of them like the, the, the speed of Maher and like French as you say is no slouch either and he he, he wobbling behind him trying to keep with him Short kick out goes to Connor French. French is gobbled up by two players. He gets the ball back to Paddy O'Kane. O'Kane gets the ball out as far as Wayne Dial. Dial now up, who is 45. Needs a little bit of support. Good tackling there from Jack Clancy. Turns him around, but he gets the ball back in as far as Wayne Dial. Dial falls to the ground. Was he hit late? The referee yeah. says he was. Well, hit late here now, Emmett. This should be a black card in my book because he body checked him. He come across him as he laid the ball off, so it'll be good to see what happens here. And I think in the first half alone, he's he's not happy. I think he's, he knows himself. He could be gone here. Is he making a walk? He's having a chat with he's him. Very he's very adamant what he's saying anyway. But I'd say myself, this should be a black card. Or is he, he booked already? No, he's walking away. Yellow card. Yellow card. I say wrong decision. And it's Joe Maher as well. Joe Maher there. He, he wasn't happy with even the yellow. But as you said, he'd probably lucky with... Under the rules, but the ref, Seamus Mulher, has his own take on a few things here at the minute. Ball goes short to Podge McWalter for <coughs> Connor French. He takes it back. French storms past the middle of the field, gets a little ball inside as far as Dean Healy. Healy pops the ball out here to uh, Podge McWalter. McWalter now with a little bit of grass in front of him, has a look, has a kick, floats the ball high, floats a great ball high and over the bar there from Podge McWalter. Simple score. Just the answer they needed there, Emma. Absolutely. Um, did you get the sub to come in there? Was Aheen and, and I think it's Connor. Not- Connor O'Brien has replaced. Replaced. Sorry, uh, Jordan Pettigrew. Yeah. Oh, so the kick out has taken quickly again. Pat's push up on it this time. He what has he given now? Oh, he says says he handled it on the ground and a free in. So that's good pressure from Pats. It's two five here at the minute. Seven points for Pats. Uh, four point game as it was at half time. A point each in the second half. And this from Tommy Kelly should bring it back to a three point game. Kelly kicks it high and Kelly kicks it over the bar from the twenty one yard line. Pats are back in this game now. Two five to Furban. Eight points to Pats. And uh, the Pats are turning the screw. They're pressing a bit higher. Yeah, it's just a tonic they needed. But like I was watching the keeper in the first half. The- uh, like Pats were losing around the middle of the field no disrespect to them but the keeper changes sometimes and he goes with a quick kick out and it come back be backfired on him there yeah. High ball down the middle of the field. That man, O'Shane Kelly, wins the kick out. Clean take, very well taken on Shane Morley. He tries to take a quick. He launches a long ball into that man, Keane Johnson. He is Paddy O'Kane as ever for trouble, but he's on the ball. He's inside the 14. He's right out underneath the scoreboard here in Tullamore. Picks a little pass back as far as Cahill Flynn. It's a good pass, but there's a hand in from Adjut Trainer. Quick hands from Kieran Cal. Pops the ball back out as far as Eric Kelly. Kelly, dangerous off his left foot. Kicks the ball high and kicks it over the bar. A good score for Furban there. Again, they've mixed it up a little. A lot 
long went a bit longer. They did, and they, like you say, they went long diagonal ball into the far corner there. Like Kane done well to shepherd him, get him back onto his, his left foot. Like a left foot kicker usually only has a left foot. He don't, they don't like the onto their non favoured side. But he still managed to get across the goal, and two pats men jump for it. Like get a call, one let stay down. You know? 2 6 to Furban here, 8 points to St. Pat's, 4 and a half minutes gone in the second half. Another bomb drops down and is taken by that man, Podge McWalter. He pops a ball inside to Dean Healy, the ever willing, the strong running Dean Healy, 65 yards out. Was he fouled? Pops a ball out to Stephen Duffy on that left foot. It's gone high. This is a big kick from Duffy. It's a high kick and it's over the bar. A brilliant score from Duffy. Well worked again, that man, Dean Healy, at the heart of things. It's just tit for tat here now at the minute now. The one thing Pats don't want to do is let them go up now. And cancel this out again. They need to. The pass can get the next score. The screw is really turned on him. Again, the key, the keeper goes for the ball. He he's having a look around. He went long the last time they won it. And they have mixed it up. Pats have pressed a little bit higher on this one. So he goes and kicks the ball, drills one out to the far side where the two pats man. But again, that man, Hushin Kelly, rises high. It's brilliant take from the man where number 14. Yeah. He's brilliantly taken the ball there on Shane Morley. A tackle broken this time there by Keane Johnson. Johnson further out the field this time, but in as far as Jack Clancy. Clancy pops a little ball back as far as uh, Cahill Flynn. Flynn floats a dangerous ball inside. Go, oh, hands are gone on it there, but it comes back as far as Black Clancy at the top of the D. Two weak Latown men turn him over. Podge McWalter all the way back on his own 45, picks up the pieces, has a look, needs support, he twists, he turns, gets the ball to Johnny Delahunt, Delahunt looks up, tries to get a pass to John Crow. Crow looked to nudge a player in the back there, gets away with it, but a uh, turn of possession and it's in the hands of David Nally, Nally picks a great ball to Cahill Flynn, Flynn is getting on a lot of ball in this half, get, tries to get into Keen Johnson, Johnson gets the ball out ahead of Paddy Kane, Johnson kicks off his left foot and kicks it high and kicks it over the bar. That is and a tidy baller, I'll tell you that. Like, the way he's able to just hold him off with his left arm and get the ball in him to his right hip, if you don't mind me saying, you know, and then just swivels and over the bar. And that simply could have dropped in over the keeper's head there. And, you know, Paddy O'Kane done nothing wrong there, to no, be fair to him. He, he done everything. Every, as a defender. Like. You know, but uh, Cahill Flynn is getting on a lot of ball 40, 50 yards out, and he's getting time to pick those passes. Pats will have to work that out. A high ball down, two for Bandman underneath, but both of them get him one another's way, and it falls to Dean Healy, the one man they didn't want it to fall to. He pops it into John Crow. Crow charges, par breaks one tackle has a look tries to break the second he's turned back gets the ball to Stephen Duffy Duffy gets down over the ball he's strong looks for a free maybe pops the ball back here as far as Johnny Delahunt Delahunt he have a free, free out hand. I'd say he'd look I was either a wrong hand pass or a handle on the ground one or the I other I think it was a throw ball when, when Duffy was hitting on the ground and now he's going in the book now I'd say obviously for Yapping. telling the referee that he didn't agree with his decision him. Yeah, he mustn't have told him that nice or he oh. wouldn't be going in the book <laughs> Again, we'd like to thank Murphy's oh, League. Oh, it's a black card, card for yeah. Stephen Duffy. Yeah, that's, we'll, that's, that's a big call. That's like hitting an iceberg there now. You're going to take on water. That's not good. That's not good. Who comes in here now? You need to be rapid on the line to get a change in here. Who are we going to see coming in? We have, uh, we'd like to thank Murphy's Liquidation Furniture again for their sponsorship during the break. The ball goes back as far as the keeper here. It was knocked back to him and it's out to Stephen Wren. Pats are currently down to 14 men. Ball comes out here to the cornerback who is Shane Nally. Uh, it's Stephen Wren, sorry. He gets the ball in as far as Shane Nally. Goes cross field, a little bit of space there. Now, this could be dangerous for Pats. They have an overlap because of the man on the line. Aidan Keenahan, has, he's on the ball. Ball comes into the fullback as Leon Fox, who charges forward. Tried to be tackled by Connor French. Turns around, but he's blown him for steps. This referee Brian. is liable to do anything now yeah. at this stage. Brian Doyle is coming in. Oh, it's turned over by that man called Flynn, but Dean Healy gets a boot to it. Matthew Trainer pops the ball out as far as Paul O'Brien. O'Brien has been quiet for the first eight minutes of this second half, but he storms into the game now, charges down into the 65, goes inside his man, finds John Crow. Crow took his eye off the ball momentarily, but it's spilled by the Furban man, surely touched on the ground, twice touched on the ground. And he gives a free to against Pats there. This As you say, referee is able to win at the minute. Here's a game now could boil over in a heartbeat. Well, it, like both teams want to play football, but this man hasn't. He's lost the plot a little he bit since half time. He has a half time, yeah. And another man going in the book, or maybe he's telling they can, the name of the guy that's coming in. 17 as we come in at Brian Dyle. Yeah, that's what it is. Brian Doyle is in for the black carded uh, Stephen Duffy, but it's Leon Fox goes back with that ball to his captain and his cornerback uh, Stephen Wren. Uh, Wren gives it back into Leon Fox. Fox goes out to the far sideline, right underneath the, the 
dressing room the outlet to the dressing room there he's bang in the middle of the field here in Tullamore he has a look it's slow this time from Forban they're being more patient with this ball Nally looks he's told to get up the ref was right but that's a free inside and at the minute uh, Shane Morley struggling a little bit with this Oshin Kelly man yeah but look at the size of him compared to him you know <laughs> he's an absolute beast Ball comes across as Matthew Trainer again gets a hand in, but the ball squirts out as far as Kieran Cal. Cal pops the ball back here to the number 11, Joe Marr. He has a pop at the post, but only drops into the welcome arms of Shane Doyle. Doyle storms out the ball, gives it to Kieran Doyle. Out as far as Paddy Kane. Kane at the top of the D and marches on to the 45 with the ball. Now he needs support. Now he gets it. Ball is in the hands of Dean Healy. Healy, 65 yards out from his own goal. Little tug on the jersey. Just to stop Dean Healy probably was wise if you're a Furban man. Ball comes back into the hands of Connor French. He finds Podge McWalter. McWalter looks up, kicks a long ball into Tommy Kelly. First time we've seen Tommy in the danger area, but it's gone right down into the corner underneath the stand there. Beautifully flicked up by Tommy Kelly. Kelly tries to get around his man. Is he held? The ball squirts out of his possession. Flicks little ball up to Shane Morley. Morley at the other end of the field now. Right at the D. He's about 30 yards out. Gives it to Podge McWalter. Gets it back to Tommy Kelly. Tommy has a look with the outside the right boot, but that's never gone over from there and another wide for Pats and it's 2-7 to 9 points here Pats are, Pats are struggling a little bit Pats are struggling here now they're getting a hop into this favourite place where they usually have Stephen Duffy to slot it over with his trusty left hook they have lost that avenue now so they're going to have to change it they're, they need a little bit of a different game plan Sub, sub for Forban here it's, it's 10 minutes gone in the second half it's 2-7 to Forban it's 9 points to same Pats um, who's the sub? Is 23, no, 30. Does? 33. Derek. Derek. Connor, Connor French is. 31, sorry. The Ryan Heaven comes in. And who's gone off? Number 22, Jack Clancy has gone off. A long kick out again from that man, Jack Cullinan, in the goal. It's won again by that man. Oshin Kelly. That's three miles <coughs> the shot now. He's caught in the second half. He's done really well. He comes out. He drifts in and out. He's he's proven to be a handful for this Pats defence. David Nally is on the ball. The number five. He goes all the way back to Stephen Wren. For band kind of already looked to be in protection mode of this lead a little bit. Yeah. Um. Maybe it could backfire on him. But David Nally now is not protecting Anton because he's taking on the Pats defence. Marches inside the 45. Has a look back. Little ball back out here as far as Carl Flynn. Flynn has turned over though. Pats do really well. And the ball breaks the podge by quarter. There's a chance of a break here for Pats. Really good. Ball inside to uh, one two with Connor French and McWalter. McWalter marches down. He charges to the top of the D. McWalter's really has that. So runners on. Finds Tommy Kelly in space. Steps inside his man. Low oh. shot. To and a ball and a ball in the back of the net from Tommy Kelly a brilliant run from Podge McWalter a brilliant turnover up the field it's game on here in Tullamore absolute game on him and I tell you one thing if they hadn't come out there with a goal Podge McWalter should have just head down the tunnel because there was two lads on the right hand side here and I was about to say as he took the wrong choice who am I to question Podge McWalter 2-7 to Furban, 1-9 to Pats, 12 minutes gone here, just a tonic that Pats needed after losing Stephen Duffy to a black card. Their cornerback number 4, Shane Alley, is down injured here. A massive move though, the engine of that man, Podge McBalder. He, he, the turnover happened inside his own 65. He soloed the whole way to the top of the 21 there, a little one to a Connor French in between. No one could lay a glove on him, popped it to Tommy. Tommy stepped inside and drilled the ball to the net. Known hard into the bottom corner, as it should be, because and it looked like number Four, he's out there. He's gone off here now. Um, he, well, he's sitting up, but there's a signal for a sub. And whatever way he tried to get across to block it down, he's done himself an injury. And it, this is look at this is not game manager and that, but like you're out to get the, the, the best of both worlds here. They're losing the corner back, and you've got a major again. Him. Yeah, look at how they react from here now. Johnny Delahunt and John Crow are having a the chat. They're swapping wings here. But game on now. Game, game on. on. One point game here in Tullamore. 13 minutes into this second half. There is, has been an injury for the last minute. So Shane Nally looks to be walking off very gingerly there. So, someone warming up on the far side for Pats as well. I'm not sure who it is. Um, hard to make out. Would you recognise him yourself there? No, I, d- I don't. When I don't see a number, it's hard to. Oh, I may, get, may go to spec servers or somewhere and get the old papers tested. Yeah. Number 17, Brian Graham, is in for Shane Nally. 
So it'll be a test now. Shane Nally was on Tommy Kelly, so that's a blow to them. I see Leon Fox has gone over to him now. That might upset the apple cart a little small bit there. Jack Cullinan takes the kick out. We're back in the game here. Tommy Kelly's way out underneath this one, but Fox or that uh, Aidan Keenan takes a mark. Well, I surely held on to it too long, but play on, says the referee again. He's a uh, license to himself at the minute. Leon Fox charges forward this ball, pops it inside to the man just in as Brian Grant gives it back to Leon Fox. Fox is marching forward. He's inside the 45, but again, good tackling from Pat's ball breaks down. Has found his way to Keane Johnson. This is dangerous, but that man, Paddy Kane, comes out with the ball, lobs the ball out as far as Kieran Dyle or Shane Morley. He is Paul Bryan on his shoulder. O'Brien takes the ball. Try oh, heavy hit there on Paul O'Brien, but a fair hit, a good hit to be fair to him. No, he says it was frontal charge. <coughs> if, if that's a well I thought to be fair card, if anything. well if he blows for the free it's a card yeah. because I thought I thought to be fair now he he did stand his ground and I know ah, well, Paul O'Brien was coming at pace into him but they're standing your ground and standing your ground but like a frontal charge is, is a and now is he's a decided anyway. to book him no, no he I didn't only he, him. Just, he only ticked him so anyway Connor French takes the free the, the little bit of a boost here to the situation the game had died down a little bit but Pat's goal now on that little incident there and a pull of the jersey on, on Wayne Doyle probably lucky to get away with that one a little bit Wayne ball now is in the hands of Connor French French has stormed into the game a little bit in this second half he needed to he has Joe Marr in the back foot and it's Podge McWalter again finding pockets of space McWalter at his brilliant best going forward pops the ball out to Connor O'Brien O'Brien kicks the ball high oh, it's, it's not Connor O'Brien it's Brian Doyle kicks the ball high and over the bar and all of a sudden Pats have exploded into this game. 2-7 to Verban, 1-10 to Pats Wicklow Town, and it's 15 minutes gone here. What a 15 minutes we have left now. As Brian Doyle done in the county final, he had only been introduced. He's come in for Stephen Duffy on a black card. First ball he got in the county final over the bar. First ball he's got here over the bar. Him. Kick out goes long down to the middle of the field, but Pats mop up the brakes. Pats are starting to storm into this game as John Crow strong running, pops the ball inside to Johnny Delahunt. Delahunt at the top of the D, gives it back to Paul O'Brien. O'Brien tries to recycle, comes back out to Dean Healy. Healy takes takes on his man as he always does he's inside the 21 he's two three men around him for company but Healy picks up that ball was he pushed in the back he was pushed in the back very cute play from Dean Healy there he had nowhere to go and he, he got himself a free he had ran himself into a cul-de-sac here but the power again he got a full hint just to shepherd the man away now problem is uh, a kick here now for a right foot kicker and you need a left man to kick left foot kicker man to kick this because this is a very acute hang very acute angle. He's right underneath the stand here. He's, he's just about two yards outside the 14 yard line. Kicks a bit outside of his right boot, but that one has drifted to the right of the post. Probably maybe should have went short, given go. Yeah. It's easy to say that now. If it goes over, it's a great score. But it, it is, Emmett. Um, but a ball, if you're kicking a free from this side, the free taker knows if you're missing on the right post, it's never had a chance. No. That's that's just a I little that's a little free kicking clinic from Alan there, just well, while we were waiting Alan, for the kick up. Like <laughs> Jack Cullinan kicks the ball long down the field again it's that man now Shane Kelly he's been 4-5 marks now in this second half already he's, if it's a mark he's taking his time about recycling but he does and the ball is in the hands of Kevin Nugent Nugent gives the ball back here now to his cornerback who is Stephen Wren Wren charges forward pops the ball in as far as uh, James Nally Nally goes back across the field here and finds uh, number 12 is Aidan Keenan Keenan charges past Johnny Delahunt Delahunt tries to keep him puts the ball out in front of him was he fouled no is the referee two Pats men around him they've gobbled him up they've turned him over brilliant play by Pats now as far here as uh, Conor O'Brien O'Brien takes the ball is he fouled yes he is fouled that's brilliant play by Pats absolutely but they need to keep it going they should it take the quick one keep it going while they're on the momentum when they're attacking what, they've, what they're very very good at turn the screw now do, this, do what them what for, for Ban have done to them in the first half Keep ball. The momentum. ball from Conor O'Brien taken quickly pops it back to Matthew Trainer. Trainer looks up he has Kieran Dial for company Dial has uh, Johnny Crow outside him but it goes as far as Paul O'Brien O'Brien looks up Matthew Trainer is in the middle in acres of space there runs onto this ball has a look up he'll need support he goes again Gives and goes with Kieran Dyle, but oh, it's turned over. He just lost control of it there. Kieran Cal took it from him, and it's into uh, Ryan Heaven. Heaven, the sub wearing 31, tries to take on Wayne Dyle. Dyle turns him, twists and turns, but he's given away a free, and it's a free. Look, it's 40 yards out right underneath the stand of mightn't have been the worst free to give away. Mightn't be the worst free, getting a little take. No, look at it, he done the right thing because the man had turned him, you know what I mean? And all you were going to see there was the heel of the boots. 
David Kelly takes the ball off, off Heaven from the free. Back out as far as Kevin Nugent. Nugent pops the ball inside here as far as James Nally. Nally on the burst. Ball breaks down again. Pat's tackling very good. Looked like a high tackle play away. This is the referee. He's given the advantage. Kieran Doyle has the ball in his hand. Podge McWalter at the top of his own D. What an engine this man has. Pops the ball back as far as... Uh, the full back who is Shane Morley. Morley Morley was on the ground but he gets the ball away out to Paddy O'Kane, O'Kane gives it to Connor French between the 45 and the 65 at the scoreboard end, French has a look, pops the ball inside the trainer trainer finds himself in space, he takes on his man, it looks like uh, for Manor starting to get a little bit leggy around parts of the pitch, trainer does really well, the show and go, pops the ball inside there to Connor Ober or to Brian Doyle Doyle recycles a house far, Dean Healy Healy takes off, puts on the afterburner Healy's bearing down on goalie, 14 yards out, boxes the ball high and boxes it over the bar the right decision Pats hit the front for the first time in this game 1-11 to Pats 2-7 to Furban there's 19 minutes gone here I think it's actually a day late at the start of the oh, game but not, not pulling you up now look right now but look, look, try, trying look to make ahead. it as exciting as but, I can but, yeah. but they're ahead anyway that's the main thing <laughs> Again, look, I think just a couple of the Furban lads look at when, when they were to be found there to be looking to get back, they just couldn't make it. Yeah, no, as you say, looking a little bit leggy now, and maybe this is going to see who has the, the most fitness, what has games took out with each team over the last while. Um, but uh, Pats definitely have lifted it here, there's something going on at the far side here now, they're not like going into the book. What's going to take place? Lad having a meeting with a linesman and a referee That's over here is never, it? never a good thing when you're a player. Um, it's all from experience, haven't it? Well, a few times I was called into the office like that. But, um, that ah, well, look, I talk my way out of it generally, but right. it's always that fear when he's going, well, yeah, when he's going to the notebook, there's always that fear. What happened? Nothing. After all that? No. Well, maybe it was just a chat. Yeah, that's all it was. Getting frequented, I'm told. <clears throat> so, 25 as far as I know, coming in for Pats. Which is Luca Rampersad, is it? Luca Rampersad is coming in for Pats here. Uh, number 17, who came on? No. Johnny Delahunt has gone. gone. But uh, number 17 came on for, for Bannon. He's gone back off, whatever the reason being. High kick out again. Trainer gets his fist to a breaks down. Johnny Crow with Tommy Kelly has come all of 45 yards out to win this one. Kelly pushes his man off with one hand, pops a little ball inside, is it gone too far? No, well done by Brian Doyle, Doyle keeps it in, Solos has a look, Solos again, will he go from there? He will go from there, what a kick from Brian Doyle, what a kick when Pat's needed it most, 21 minutes gone, a peach of a score from Brian Doyle, it looked like he was probably taking the wrong option, but hats off. Because a lad went by him, and he, he, he never acknowledged him, he said, I ain't going my own road here, son, and Oh, and off. fair play to him, he did. And it's 21 minutes gone, as I said, 2-7 to Verban, 1-12 to Pats. Now it's a while since Verban's last score, two lads. A long kick out from Jack Cullinan. Pats have turned the screw, but it's that man. Oh, he's lost it though. Hushing Kelly guy's hands on, but Macho Trainer uh, found some way of getting the ball off him. This time it's in as far as Doyle again. Doyle gives it to Dean Healy. Was Healy fouled? Healy comes back with the ball. This time they've stopped him. Mahoney momentarily again. He's pulled to the ground. Brilliant play by Dean Healy, a monster of a man. What a man of a match performance this man is putting in here. From 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 goal line to goal line, what he's done today is just uh, it's uh, detrimental to, uh, to Ferban anyway. And to be fair, in the last few minutes since since Stephen Duffy's black card there since Stephen Duffy's black card, uh, Podge McWalter and Dean have been yeah, immense. You're looking for leaders, yeah. yeah. Just going back going to our stats here, and it's seventeen minutes since Ferban scored. Yeah, I was thinking it was a while. So Tommy Kelly steps up, he's forty yards out central enough in front of the goal he bombs it high and he bombs it straight between the posts and just when Pats needed it what a tonic it's one thirteen to Pats 2-7 to Furban and all of a sudden Pats have opened up a three point lead here they, have, and I tell you that, that they just need to keep it keep the tides turning keep the pressure on around the middle of the field because they, they look very static now around the middle of the field does Furban Ball now is in the hands of was in the hands of Kevin Nugent. He finds Aidan Keenan to have a runner outside. Oh, that runner is number eighteen. Who is David Kelly? Kelly strides forward. He's not cutting in. Padge McWalter for company. McWalter still covering all that ground. Ryan Haven wearing thirty one tries to get in along the end line. He's gone around Wayne Dial. He was pulled back, was he? He was. He's gone down inside the fourteen. Pat's had numbers there. Dial's going to the book now. He's the second free in a row. He's given away. So he's definitely and the book is out. He kicked him the last time. Oh. He was treading water a little bit, again it's probably no, not a bad foul. He's only kicked him again. He 
he's got away with it here now. I tell you another sub in for, for, for Van here. Kieran McManus is coming in. We'll see who's gone off. Number eight, Heen David Kelly has gone off. There's a change around the middle. As I said, they have looked a little bit leggy in the last few minutes around yeah. the middle. Pats have taken over. As we said, there's 23 and a half minutes gone here. It's a free to underneath the scoreboard about five yards in for the sideline difficult one enough for Forban here to try and cut the deficit back to two it's 2-7 to Forban 1-13 into St. Pats this will be their first score in near enough 20 minutes if they can get it he steps up he kicks with his left foot he kicks it high it's hit the top of the post and came back out to the welcome arms of Kieran Doyle Doyle goes low up the line as far as Luca Rampersad Luca Rampersad stoops on the ball picks it up at the second attempt he's deep in his own 21 gives the ball out to Doyle Doyle long hand pass up the line to Connor French French evades the tackle does really well to stay in play as well he is a man in the middle here calling screaming for the ball is Connor O'Brien but he goes long to Tommy Kelly Kelly 35 yards out from the goal finds Connor O'Brien who kept his run going he pops a little ball out here as far as Shane Morley Morley gets it into the hands of Paul O'Brien back in as far as Brian Doyle Brian Doyle solos he's turned though he's good play by the four man backs he just can't get a hand on him it's the number 35 there's, I don't know who's 35 because there's only 34 in the programme but Dean Healy again breaks the tackle but Dean Healy is surely fouled and he's not says the referee had to be a pull back there Dean Healy tangles off the ball and he's pushed to the ground but will follow the play as that man Joe Maher Maher breaks the tackle of Connor French he's pulled back by Paul O'Brien he's got an advantage he's still going two patsmen biting and Maher does really well but his advantage is brought right back to the 45 big incident here now Emmett very uh, I'm going to be interested now to see what happens here uh, number three in my book is going to get his marching orders here now both linesmen have saw it heavy talking going on Dean Healy was uh, he half the ball here yeah look at I seen the play I seen Dean hitting the ground off the ball there I was trying to follow the play um, eyes were drawn to it Dean Healy is going over to the ref Dean's better off to, just to step away yeah. Yeah, yeah. Do, do as long as he's if I was Dean now as long as he wouldn't be looking for me that he wasn't going yeah. to call two there well if, if he did no matter if, what happened if step, I'd say number three knows himself he, now there's a, he gone straight to the pocket this is either a black or red anyway if, well, if, if it's, it's a yellow card here this is absolutely it's a cop out it's a cop out because it's foolish because there's nothing else there other than your marching orders so it's Leon Fox he's talking to at the minute there was a tangle off the ball Dean Healy he's having a good chat with him Sometimes when the ref is talking to you like it's that, a, it's, a good, sign for it's you. a good sign for you. But yellow, it's a yellow, card, yeah, 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 yeah. You yellow. see, you can see lads in, in other well, here beside us, they're shaking their head as well. Well, if I'm, if I'm, uh, if I'm that referee, the next time the linesman would call me like that, I'd say, well, lads, head on with yourself. Don't yeah, bother calling. If me. I say they're red or it's not like yeah. I'm not. Don't stop the play. And don't be annoying me. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Ryan Haven takes the ball from the quick free. It's inside boy. Again, his pads have set up really well at the back. They've struggled for a little bit of this game to, to thwart for bands attacks, but they seem to have set up really well. They've got their all their wagons in a row in a ring, as the lad says, and it's Dean Healy striding out again. Again, he was heavily tackled. Healy has took some punishment today, but in fairness to him, he's, I won't say he deserves it, but he's going right where it hurts every time he gets that ball, and that's what's dragged Pats into this game. Again, Paul O'Brien recycles the ball out as far as Connor O'Brien. O'Brien comes straight across the field to uh, Matthew Trainer. Trainer, who's played really well as well has a look up he's Luca Ramper sat in front of him he's Connor French beside, behind him he goes back to French we're into the last three and a half minutes plus stoppages here it's 26 and a half gone it's a three point game Pats have dragged ourselves back into this one again he comes across the field Paul O'Brien with the ball as far as Matthew Trainer, 65 yards out from his own goal breaks the tackle there of Oshin Kelly strides past him but he needs support he needs someone inside he gives it to John Crow Crow seems to be bottled up but does really well again he needs support he's under pressure but he's at it had to come they were on the verge of over carrying two or three times there the war but like French was stupid derby because he should have played the one two with Dillahunt to give him the ball the first time like get the ball away from you because you were gobbled up there your legs are gone tired your body like everything's lethargic you know just get, like you're not going to ride them cha challenges anymore I could even see it like Dean Healy had to take a little bit of a breather to the far side of the field where the subs come in and out as well because they're, they're gassed you know but they have to try to hold on to this don't let him get his score turn it over again Number 17, Brian Grahan is back on. He's been in and out of this game, as the lad says. He's like a yo-yo over there. They're bringing him on and off. I'm not sure who's gone off. It's number seven, Kevin Nugent this time. David Nally puts the ball in his toe here. Tries to be easy turned. He is turned. Brilliant play by Pats again. He gets it as far as Kieran Caldo. It's back to Leon Fox now. Where number three, high up the field. Paul O'Brien meets him. Hits the ground. A good tackle there by Fox. Both players are holding on to one another and having a word with the linesman while they're doing it. But it's out as far as number 19, who is James Nally. Nally now... 
has a free it's five yards in from the line underneath the stand here and Crow going into the Crow gets himself into the book here now he had absolutely nothing to do with any of the challenges there and Mark can be the referee he's after saying something to him and there's a yellow card you know Paul O'Brien Paul O'Brien is down he's signal he's signal yeah the leg's gone on him I tell you one thing, for Van aren't afraid to empty the bench here, do they? Because they must know their oh. legs are in trouble. But Paul O'Brien is gone, his calves are on, he's waving to the bench here. If we get me out here, lads. Only one Pats man in the other end of the field is Tommy Kelly. He's uh, planted right in front of the goal but all the other Pats men are back down it's, it's probably it's looking for a goal time here for this for band team maybe Leon Fox kicks the ball right foot high but only gets as far as the 20 oh it's dropped there by Paddy O'Kane it's kicked off the left foot of who is it it's that man Joe Maher again kicks it his left foot and kicks it high and over the bar and one that could have been dealt with we're into the 28 minutes and 50 seconds on the clock here it's 2-8 to Furban, it's 1-13 to St. Pats, a cracking second half here, can Pats see this one out we're going to have 2 or 3 minutes here as well Alan. you possibly could have more now Emmett, um, but there, Pats are still someone warming up at the far side here Like you need, to get, you need to get Paul O'Brien off here he's in trouble, You know his legs are gone, he's giving you and he has Kick out from Shane Doyle, drills the ball out to the far side, but it only finds uh, the number 29, Kieran McManus. He pops the ball inside to Kane Johnson. Johnson has Paddy Kane there with him. Kane does well, he tries to turn him back, he does turn him back. Connor French comes to give him a dig out. It's lashed on, with, he dropped the ball, Johnson just lashed on it with his boot. Only comes as far as Matthew Trainer. Trainer does really well, gets the ball out to Luca Rampersad. Hops off his chest, but he gets it at the second attempt. Pops the ball inside to Kieran Doyle. Doyle now charges forward to the 65, he turns, he goes back. If I was Pats, I'd try and get a little bit further before I take the sting out of the game get away from the front of your own goal lads and a dangerous hand pass ball breaks down and it's in the hands of Kieran McManus he's tackled by Podge McWalter McWalter does really well to try and hold him up Leon Fox hops off his leg goes back to Kieran McManus he kicks it out to Ryan Heaven Heaven wearing 31 pops the ball inside as far as uh, David Nally Nally looks up he's straight in front of him is Kieran Doyle he drills the ball across but it's taken by that man Matthew Trainer. massive catch by Trainer. gets the ball out as far as uh, Brian Doyle Doyle does really well how many minutes did he say lads is a two or three I'm not sure but Doyle is dragged to the ground and takes the sting out of the game a tired tackle there from Kieran McManus and out good play the, out comes the referee's book again I'll tell you one thing he'll be up till midnight tonight right now a referee's important this well, lad, I just send in the programme with him yeah. <laughs> 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 Podge McWalter has the ball in hand he goes short to Paul O'Brien O'Brien is still going in fairness to him he was in trouble but he needs someone to give it to pops the ball back here as far as Shane Morley Morley breaks the tackle does really well charges forward breaks another tackle brilliant play by Morley ball slips out of his hand the right man has it now is Dean Healy Healy charges between the 45 and the 65 he's inside the 45 he's at the top of the D gets it to Tommy Kelly Tommy off the right foot but this one has just gone to the left of the post and wide we've 31 minutes on the clock here some coming in here now. Pats are hanging on to a two point lead. They're not hanging on, they're doing well, but two Jack points Dunn is dangerous. Me. Jack Dunn comes into the fray. Paul O'Brien will leave the fray, surely. We've we no we know scope on time. Uh, three. Four added minutes. We're in there with three, with a minute and a half to go. There's will be four added minutes here. There's lots of time for Fraban if they can hold on. But well, hand gets to that. That's Connor French wins the break. Pause the ball down as far as John Crow. Crow now should go forward. This he doesn't. He turns back. He's two men for company. It pops a lovely little ball inside to Brian Doyle. Brian Doyle has a man inside him. That man is Luca Rampersad. Rampersad has a pop to Tommy Kelly. Tommy Kelly has a pop and it's high and it's over the bar. A massive score from Tommy Kelly to put three between them. Sure. Surely now Pats should see this one out. It's 1.14 to Pats. It's 2.8 to for a ban here. A storming second pa half from Pats, but we've two minutes to go here still. And don't forget this ref could do anything, lads. The ball comes out from the kick out, falls into the hands of Leon Fox. Fox takes the ball to the middle of the field, he carries it. Pats form a line. Again, it's a hand in from Podge Mike Walter. What a shift that man has put in. Number 35. Uh, again, I'm not sure who that lad is, so we'll keep going. Out as far as uh, James Nally. Nally tries to get the ball in for side to Joe Maher. Maher has Connor French for company now. Taps it on that left foot. Lobs a high ball in there's green jerseys everywhere underneath this this is dangerous McManus takes it blast the ball oh, blast the ball over the bar and that was oh, dangerous oh that was a net seeker I thought it was gone into the roof of it we oh, I definitely say if you look back at the replay someone got their fingertips to that 
That was a he went for he went for the glory there, but there's 32 minutes and 40 seconds. We're supposed to have 34 here. There's still a bit of seeing out on this for Pats. It's 290 for Ban, 114 to Pats. Shane Doyle will take his kick out. Where are you, Dean Healy? I'd say is what he's saying. He's his arms out. He turns, he drives a long kick out way down the field, but there's only green jerseys underneath. Oh, he dropped it this time. Oshin Kelly, he's done really well. It's a, an advantage. He's given the free. Kelly is looking. Where's it from? Where well, he's marched forward with, he's took his few yards and the ball goes inside but it's hopped over the head of the corner forward, he gets it at the second attempt, he steps around Morley, this is dangerous, that corner forward is number 15, is uh, Sean Flynn, Flynn ball popped inside, is taken from the grasp of the player, Pat's men go down the ball, try and win it, it's, it's in there, it's Connor French, Pat's have it, it's Luca Rampersad back there, what's going on, he's on the ground, the ref is standing there, it's free a free out. out. Well, I'll tell you one thing, that's a lap of the gods anyway, because that was no free out, well, because he was like hatching an egg, but look, we'll take it. Well, how he couldn't have given a free in the build-up there. So in here again now, who it is, I don't know. We've 20, 23, is it? Number 23 is Niall Donnelly is coming in. We think. Oh, he's going to throw it up. He's going to throw it up now. There's a sub coming in and he's going to throw the ball. This referee is liable to do anything still, lads. With time is up according to us here. It's 34 minutes. It's a two-point game. He throws the ball in. Matthew Trainer gets his hand to us. Back out to that man, Mike Mars. Brilliantly oh. taken. A brilliant rob, a brilliant time. And as John Crow charges out with the ball. That was brilliant by Jack Dunn. Took that ball. Seeing the opportunity. He gets it to John Crow. Crow turns back in. Finds Jack Dunn again. Dunn makes himself available. Gives it to Pat Trainer. And it's all over here in Tullamore. It's all over. Casey O'Brien dances around the field. He hugs his selectors. A massive win for the Pats men. Two points they've won by here. St. Pats 114 for Band 29. What a second half performance. What a day for Wicklow Football Limit. What a day when the chips are down, you're back again the wall, you lose one, you lose your leader, your captain. Right, gone. Black card in the second half here, but up steps Dean Healy, what he done in this game, but and Podge McWalter as well. But like don't forget, I Matthew think Trainer. Matthew Trainer, you could name any mountain. Yeah. Paul O'Brien took a wall up down here and he was left to lint up himself, you know, but he got up and got on with it, went off then with cramp. Like I, I don't know what to say. There was lads text me in here, they asked me who would win on the way up. I said Pat's be two. How many did he win by? <laughs> That's be two. That's be two. He, texts me, he texts me at half time. He says he's looking for a lift out of Dublin because he spent all his money on Paddy Powers. He reckons we must be working for Paddy Powers. <laughs> now who's working for Paddy Powers? <laughs> <laughs> ah look a massive victory for Pats it's Port Leash at home in two weeks time I think is it think is yeah, yeah so look a massive victory for Pats here a brilliant second half what a game we've had here uh, Pats have pulled it out of the fire you know we said all year they hadn't to come from behind in Wicklow more or less um, they hadn't to do it by God they're doing it today and they, and they found reserves that maybe people question had they got but they have them and they have them in spades again thanks a million to Murphy's Liquidation Furniture for all their support throughout the year we'll have another day out now Alan so we'll, we'll be happy enough and also we want to best of luck or congratulations to Dunlavin winning yesterday a massive massive victory um, and Talker were warned to come out on the wrong side of a, a result up in uh, in Athlone I think it was um, but they were strip strip panel as well they're back out next Sunday in their county final replay wish them all the best of luck um, under 20s matches were on there this morning a few big results around the county some didn't go other, other ways but look I also want to thank Tullamore up here for, uh, at um, O'Connor Park for the facilities and what they've done for us here today thank you thank you very much yeah thanks to everyone I uh, hope you enjoyed listening in as again we'll be back we'll, we'll be back with the, the next instalment of Pat's Journey in Leinster and uh, we hope you'll all listen in again thanks again for everyone listening goodbye